Striders are coming. A single one of those damn things could shoot down our rocket. We don't dare launch until all Striders are destroyed. Now you've proved yourself capable, and the staff seem to respect you. Therefore, I'm putting defense of White Forest and this ingenious new weapon of mine in your hands. We call it the Magnuson device. Not my chosen label, you understand, but it seemed to please the personnel. Now look lively in there. Warm up the delivery port. Whatever you say. Now what it is, is a sort of sticky bomb. Although cleverer than that makes it sound. From your point of view, you merely pitch the device at the Strider's hull. Then blow it up. I've struggled with a mechanism for launching the device, but... Well, your zero-point energy field manipulator clears up that little problem. Now follow me, and we'll let you get in some practice while we still have time. Don't be alarmed, Freeman. This Strider's days of impaling your friends are a thing of the past. Now, out in the field, we'll supply you with all the Magnuson devices you need through delivery ports like this one. For the safety of the base, these devices are deactivated. They cannot explode like those you will find in the field. Now go ahead and take the device out of the dispenser. Now you'll... That's right. Now toss it at the main body of the Strider. Good. Now, take out the firearm of your choice and shoot the device. There you go. Ah, not too difficult at this range, is it? Gets a bit harder when it's moving about and firing at you, of course. Now, let's move on to a more challenging task. Uriah, send the target to the far end of the rails. device, isn't it? I'll be right over here when you are ready to head up. Had enough? Your car is fueled and ready to go. Now, every building in the valley has its own dispenser port, so you'll have ample supply of explosives. Now, I must get back to my rocket, Freeman. I'm relying on you not to squander my trust or my Magnusons. Oh, and Freeman, if you pull this off, I might just forgive you for that debacle at Black Mesa. You know the one I mean, involving a certain microwave casserole. liberties with your car. Check it out. I added a rack for Magnuson devices back here. I tweaked your onboard radar so the combines show up red on the dashboard unit now. Plus, it'll send a homing signal to your HEV suit in case you get separated from your car. No need to thank me. Now check this map. We're right here at the south end of the valley. Rest of the gang's up north by the old sawmill, here. Head on up there, and they'll fill you in on the battle plan. I'll be staying here to watch the field and send status updates. Good luck out there. Sawmill 
at the far end of the valley. Perimeter's clear. Still outside of incursion. Keep alert. They're waiting for you in the sawmill. That way. So, they've sent Freeman, have they? Good man. We've counted a dozen striders just north of us. Our job is to keep them from reaching the base to the south. If they get close enough for one good shot at the silo, the whole launch is a bust. And in case striders aren't bad enough, recon indicates they're being escorted by packs of hunters. Now, what I want you to do... Attention! Uh oh North perimeter breach. All right, people, this is it. We have a strider approaching from the cranes. Defensive positions, go!
up the good work. Only a few striders left. Another strider coming in towards what used to be the sawmill.
this one, Freeman! We did it! We held them off! Good work, everyone! Attention! Attention! The Striders have been defeated! All personnel return to base immediately! Repeat! All personnel return to base immediately! its final stages. The portal is close to open, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought Satellite you were going to get a hug. Powered and ready. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What? This one? Flight termination system check links with backup range safety sites? Oh, that must be an ancient entry. There are no backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope is that the rocket falls on the enemy. Now, inertial navigation systems. Safety test of FTS. Completed, of course. Ground and high altitude wind. Well, uh, the precision of those readings is not to my liking, but we'll have to make do with what we have. Guidance, computer voltages and currents. Reporting normal. FTS switched over to internal power. Naturally, some time ago. And armed? Of course. Don't ever say of course. We can't take anything for granted. No, of course not. No, no. Avionics do internal power. Yes, yes. Well, here we are again. having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. <gasps> well, that's with intolerance. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling We're back! Up. At last. Ah, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Seven, six, five. Steady. 
fantastic. Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. Oh. Now, now it is still too early to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold up Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're going to miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. This is it! Oh. My goodness! Yes! Yes! The portal has been neutralized! We did it! Oh, my we did it, oh, Gordon! We sure as hell oh, did. And not a moment too I knew soon. I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a minute. Don't go too far. Well, there she is, gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. <laughs> Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. you have everything you need. I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, no. Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Dad! Alex! <clears throat> Dad! 